So we're here with another body part. We're gonna do shoulders. I get people that ask me about my shoulders all the time, like guys, girls that ask me about my workout in the gym. I will be very honest with you. You could still do this workout and not want to have shoulders like me. I really respect the people that are honest. I had a woman walk up to me and say, you know, I think that you have a really great body, but I say this with all due respect. I totally don't want to look like you, but I would really like to have nicer arms. So this workout is for somebody that wants to get jacked shoulders, capped out, but it's also for somebody that wants nice, lean, long muscles. It's just a matter of what rep count you're going to go with. Um, so I always talk about the higher rep count if you just want long, lean, striations, all that other stuff. And then if you want to put on strength and size, you want to go with the lower rep count. But you could also still do burnout sets or drop sets, which is we're going to add one in there. So um, we're actually going to not sit down on the bench. Sometimes I do uh, shoulder press sitting down on the bench. You kind of get that chance to like lean back. It is a little bit harder um, when you're sitting down because you won't get to use no legs and no core. Um, but if you try to keep the, it as strict as possible and then you keep your core engaged with core, abs, lower back, and glutes, then you're gonna, we're gonna do today a superset of standing shoulder press, superset it with alternating front raise, and I'll demonstrate both of them, of course. So I'm gonna show you front view, so you keep your hands here and you do your shoulder presses, bringing it to the top, squeezing together. Sometimes when you get all the way to the top, now remember you got some secondary muscles here that are working and you got triceps, that's a good aid here. So you, if you just keep it a little shorter, you don't necessarily have to always lock out the shoulders, but not keep a super pulse range of motion. You'll feel the tension on the shoulder just that little bit more. So I'm keeping my abs super, super tight. So I'll do that, let's just say 20 reps and then I'm doing my alternating front raises. I really do love these, so I like to go across. So you really feel it in that show, instead of doing like just front here, which I just felt it, but I feel it way more coming across. So you don't exaggerate it where you're going like all the way over here. You try to keep that control. I'll even throw a little something at you. I did this yesterday. So you could just do the alternating, or you can do Single, single, double, slowly. So that would be your first superset. You relax, maybe you do some reverse crunches, maybe you go on the bench and you do some quick abs. <laughs> or you just rest and then you go back to the top. You can keep your weights the same or you can go up in one of those. So maybe you want to go up in the shoulder press. So that's your first superset. Then we're gonna do, I got my little cheat sheet over here just in case if you're wondering what I'm looking at. Uh, I am a huge fan of rear delts. I truly believe in overtraining the heck out of rear delts. I do a lot of them. I'll, do, I'll sometimes do them on other body part days. And then when I'm doing my uh, back workout, I also do a lot of rear delts. So we're gonna do a front, a shoulder press facing the bench. I will sometimes do this on the machine also. I'm gonna go light because it's very difficult. So, you will see how difficult. You straddle the bench, you lean forward, you can keep your legs here, or you can put them all the way in the back. And, ugh, okay, so, ugh, I'm pretty strong. Ugh, these 10 pound dumbbells feel super heavy. Ugh, now, I feel that overall in my shoulder, but I definitely do feel that a little bit more in my rear delts. Now, if you're on a bench in a gym that does this, preferably pick the one that's not just an incline because we're gonna superset with incline and go right to face down rear delt. I did this in one in another one of my videos. This one is challenging too. So you start here on a bench, hands are straight, you tap the dumbbells and then up and hold. Tap, up and hold. So these are super light. Okay, I got eight pound dumbbells there. All about holding and squeezing. So that is your next round. I was gonna say something and then I forgot it. So now we're gonna incorporate my little cable here. So you, what you wanna do is, let's just say if you're at the gym, you could do this with a tube. So I will demo for those of you that maybe are working out at home with only dumbbells, or you can bring a couple sets of dumbbells over to where the cables are. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to superset a lateral raise drop set with a high pull, which is yet again another rear delt. So we're going to do a rep count of lighter. So we're going to go with the, I'm sorry, heavy. We're going to do 8, 10, 12. So we're going to go heavy and I'm going to grab, not going to do all 8, but I'm going to do here. So this is side view, nice and clean. And you really have to visualize. So you have to think of your shoulders being lifted. I do remember what I was going to say before. Um, you have to make sure in every position that you're doing in every exercise, please keep that neutral spine. So when you're face down, don't look up. When you're stop, don't try to look at yourself in the mirror. You're going to injure yourself. And this is with any body part that we do. Then, so remember, we just did eight rep with that. Then we're going to do 10 with the lighter. And then you could do 12 or 15 with the even lighter. Or you can go super light for that last one and bang out 20 of them. So you're going to do that. Then you're immediately going to go to your cable or your tube. Get your legs out of the equation by standing in a staggered position. You could do this with a rope, which we don't have. And you're going to do a high pull. So we're not trying to work traps. We're trying to work rear delts. So you open up. The ropes, sometimes you could put the the little wood knob on the inside or on the outside. Preference, you decide how you, who feels it, which way you feel it more. Now again, if you do not have a cable or you don't, the cable's busy, you can do it with a tube. So you just do, I feel it just as much. And that tube gives you that different feel. So when I pulled this, I pulled it and it was 35 pounds, full range. 35, 35, 35. When you do tubes, the more you pull them, the tighter it feels. So they each have like a, a poundage in like how heavy they are. So you could pull and be feeling like it's 25, 35, 45. So the more you pull, the heavier it feels. I hope you guys like this one. Um, please like, share with your friends. Let me know what you think it. Try it out. Um, and then, you know, all the descriptions to all of our programs, if you're local or if you're in another state or country, everything is in the description box. So I love you. I do this, guys, because for you, because I want you to enjoy yourself and have great workouts.